Before we get into the video, I do have some giveaway information for you fellows. We're going to be giving away one $25 bond and one Heroic Mystery Box to two lucky winners. All you have to do to enter is to like the video, comment your in-game name, and subscribe to the channel, and you are good to go. With that being said, let's get started. Full disclosure before we begin, this video is going to be a little bit out of order. On the bright side, so much happens this episode that at the very least, you'll get your watch time's worth. I hopped from activity to activity pretty often, which made the video flow feel very unnatural, so I've sectioned it out into chapters to help with the viewing experience. With that out of the way, let's start at the beginning. They just released some new cosmetic mystery boxes and we are going to open a few. Holy mother of god, that is a lot of stuff. Well, wish me luck. Ooh, okay, wolf cloak. Hang on, there's potential there. Let me see. Uh, it kind of looks like a... Hmm, I'm not going to say what that looks like. Never mind. Let's keep her running. Ooh, bucket helmet. Okay, that's good stuff. Hang on one sec, brother. Nah, bucket helmet's a fit. I don't even care, dude. I was going to use the uh, the headband, but bucket helmet is it. Could do a cavalier, my lady. Honey, come here for a sec. Rate my drip, one to ten. Um, I'm this guy, I got bucket on my head. Um, turn to the side. Let's do that. It's a wolf cloak. Arr! Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> one to ten. I'm gonna say nine. You think my drip's a nine? Yeah. Do you prefer the fedora? Ten. Really? A fedora with the wolf cape? Ugh. Uh, I'm keeping the bucket. Get out of my face. Lame. You're dismissed. Goodbye. Lame -o. <sighs> I actually feel so silly with how over the top I went for my PVM perk point reallocations. At the end of the day, I needed to put those perks on for bossing anyways, just so we do take zero chances, but I just feel like I went a little too crazy with them. Ooh, surface it. What was that sound? We got another drop, dude. Surf Visage at 81 KC. That is going to make some very nice fashion skate because for now, I don't really think I need it in terms of uh, melee combat. Very nice though. Big addition. Gimme, gimme. It is with a heavy heart that I have to inform you, wands have been nerfed. I repeat, wands and fast weapons in general have been nerfed. Was it necessary? Yes. Am I still a little sad about it because we just got a blowpipe? <laughs> no. But let's be realistic, the nerf was absolutely necessary. Although with the magic nerf, I think we might switch back to range here very soon. So it's a good thing we got this Tanzanite Fang. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to create it. It costs 10,000 Zora scales with an 80% success rate. Please just do it on the first try. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Does it come with charges? No, it doesn't, boo. <laughs> uh, whatever, I'm gonna do a couple more Zora tasks. Maybe we get some good, good. And then we're gonna start looking into how strong the blowpipe really is. I just remembered the blowpipe does have a special attack with enhanced damage. So we are gonna be trying out the Sigil of Finality. At tier five, it gives you a sigil to activate every one minute to give you a triple max hit special attack guaranteed. I'm also going to be testing out the Executioner's Axe, which insta-kills NPCs under 20% health. So this should be a pretty gnarly combo. If I end up enjoying this, I may have to go back to Demonic Gorillas and get my Anguish Ornament Kit and finally finish my Ballista, so I'm halfway hoping I hate it. <laughs> Okay, that feels good, dude. I can't even lie. I like that a lot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this Sigil of Finality a shot. What's it gonna hit? 126! What? That's a guaranteed 126 too. Holy. Oh my god. We just got another Tanzanite Fang. Oh no, dude. We're gonna get flamed. That's two and 111. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Dude, I don't need that, man. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what to do with that. I might sell it for bonds, but also I might just break it down for scales. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out later. I'm not gonna lie, there's really not anything urgent I need from here at the moment. So I think for now we got our blowpipe, we're done. This is the total loot. We ended up doing 130, it didn't take very long, but uh, I would say this was a well worthy grind. I don't want to, but I feel like we have to. We are going back to Demonic Gorillas. I'm not gonna make this a whole segment. If we end up getting our drops, cool, dude. If not, this is gonna be wasted time because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not giving them any more channel time, dude. So I'm gonna give this a shot and if we get something, I will see you fellas very soon.
Before heading back into the gorilla's den, I was invited to do some Corporal Beast. And after roughly 40 minutes had passed, we ended up getting our first drop at 76kc, being a Tome of Wrath. I would have no idea how strong this item actually is until later in the video. The next day, I woke up bright and early and returned to the Corporal Beast with a new team, only to not open my OBS and miss an enormous clip for the account. We ended up getting the Corporal Beast pet and I didn't have my OBS open and I was absolutely crushed. I missed it. I missed the clip. I'm so mad, dude. I just came back. I missed the clip. We got the Corp pet, dude. No way. <laughs> Man, I haven't missed a clip that important in so long, dude. That is so upsetting. Look at him, though. Look at him go. Get him, brother. That sucks, bro. I don't think he's stronger than Arums at the moment because Arums is still busted and some of the boss pets are still underwhelming, but that is a huge pet for the pet tab regardless. So I heard a rumor about wands still being incredibly strong if you pair them with tomes dropped by the Corporal Beast. So I grabbed my Master Wand and my Tome of Wrath and headed back to Zora to find out for myself, and what we discovered was absolutely ridiculous. 84! Oh my god! What is this nonsense? This book is too strong. This book is way too strong. We almost just one phase Zora. That's too much, dude. Oh my god. Bro, do I even put that do I even put that in the video? What was that? I knew it would be stronger, but holy crap, that is ridiculous, dude. If I hear anybody complain about the wand nerf ever again, you are getting giga flamed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get my ballista limbs from this demonic gorilla right here. Nice the ballista. The blue beam got me. Gonna get Okay, you're on the ignore list. Yep, congratulations. You have made it. Oh my god! Oh, my ballista is finished! My ballista is finished at 3,477kc! Oh my god, yes! Oh man, I cannot believe it. Finally, dude. The biggest finally I've had in this series so far. Finally! Oh god. I just realized we can fail the upgrade. I swear to god I will log out for a week, bro. I'm not even kidding. I have enough vote points to buy a $10 bond and sadly I'm gonna have to use that bond to buy another artisan flask because bro, I am not going back. I am not getting another pair of limbs. It's not happening. Give me my flask. We drinky drinky. 90% chance. If you fail, I swear to god. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dude. I totally forgot we had to put it together. <laughs> oh, we just one shot a gorilla. We just one shot a gorilla from full HP. Oh my god. Bro, our headshot activated with our sigil of finality. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is good stuff. Now, whilst this is going to be an amazing damage spec weapon with the Sigil of Finality, that is not the main reason we got it. If you look in the ranged category, there's something called a Heavenly Ballista. And in order to create the Heavenly Ballista, you need, well, a Heavy Ballista. And in order to complete the Olympian Raids collection log, which, you know, is the whole point of this series, we needed to create a Heavenly Ballista, thus we needed a Heavy Ballista for the entire series. That's how big this drop was. Okay, I gotta figure out what we're doing from here. That is a giant weight lifted off my chest. <gasps> no, that did, I, okay. I was testing my RNG off task just to see. I wanted to see, maybe I'll get the drop if I don't kill it on task. I gave it 5kc, bro. That was it, 5kc and we're done. We're out of here forever. There's no, I, I don't even wanna kill things on task anymore. This perk is a lie, bro, it's a lie. Regardless, we are done here forever, fellas. I was just camping here until we got our Anguish Ornament Kit so we can finally have Lifesteal whilst we use range. The Blood Fury does work pretty good for that, but now I can have my jacked up range bonus as well. All we have to do is put it together into the fire and thank you very much. And just like that, our entire Kitted Zenite set is complete. I just prestiged range and I need 97 to equip it. I am going to... <laughs> so I have been quietly skilling for the past couple of days and maxing my stats in order to get ourselves the max cape. And normally I would make a bigger fuss about this, but honestly, at the moment it is only a cosmetic cape, so realistically it is not even an upgrade for the account, it's just fashion scape. 
We've gotten all of our stats to 99 and then prestige some. I hope we don't have to have our prestige stats back to 99 to buy this. And we don't. Very nice, dude. And like I said, at the end of the day, it's not really even an upgrade, but it is very cool fashion scape. Shee In all fairness, it is a very cool max cape. Ooh, finally a spirit shield after 430 KC, bro. Nice, holy, that took way too long, man. Now we either need an arcane sigil, Ellie sigil, a blood tome, or a death tome, and then we're good here for a while, please. I'm bored. No, we got another pet. Oh my God. God, we got another court pet, dude. No sigil, two pets. I don't believe that. <laughs> this grind, I swear. <laughs> I did it again. I call it, bro. We did no task. We did no task again and we got a drop. There's no way I called it. That is twice in a row. It happened with the Anguish Kit and an Arcane Sigil. Look at the chat, bro. I literally said this 10 minutes ago after I finished my task and I didn't get a new task. Task Treasure is a scam. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. I don't care anymore. I'm done. I don't know how that happened. That was the grossest misclick of my life, dude. No way. If I didn't have my damage reducing perks on that stack, it would have been over. That, that would have been the status. All my items, all my stats gone. You know what? My gut is telling me to leave, dude. It's telling me to get out of here and to not come back. So I am going to do just that. Anyways, let's go ahead and make the blessed spirit shield real quick. And now going for the arcane with an 80% chance. Yes, sir. -y. Bob didn't even have to get an artisan flask. That is just mwah, good stuff, dude. Okay, so I knew the arcane spirit shield was going to be better than our tome, but this? Oh my. Look at the extra defense bonus with our fortify perk. That is huge. 23 more magic attack bonus, 11 more magic strength, plus three prayer bonus. I could not have gotten a better shield drop. This is absolutely perfect. And let's be honest, bro, the shield drip unmatched. This episode could not have ended any better. Hey Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your short hair Do you even care? You got a bad attitude, mix it with a bunch of dudes And all you're left with is a menacing stare Watch that taste out your mouth, little princess How you gonna tell me that your life is worth